So, good morning. I guess good afternoon, everyone. I don't get to say good afternoon very often, but it's actually 1.30 in the afternoon right now, so I can say it, so I will. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber, for anybody who's new, and for anybody who's been watching the last couple vlogs that I've uploaded, I figured I would start this one out by explaining whatever happened to my April video because as you can tell if you check my channel, it never actually got uploaded and so I figured I would just touch base as to why that never happened. And what it is, is near the end of May, I was working very hard on the video and I have had only a few hours of editing left in it and I had slated a day to just finish it all up and get it uploaded and on May 23rd I got a call and it was a hard one it was news that my dad had passed away and for those of you that don't know I don't have my mom, I believe I mentioned this in my very first vlog, but she passed away when I was 16, so losing my dad now was, was another big blow, and I don't have very many friends, so not really having too many people to talk to for the weeks following made it a little bit hard, but luckily enough, my husband and my son were fantastic help. They helped me get through a lot of my my down times and just times when I didn't really want to do anything and stuff like that. And funny enough, my husband the day after opened up one of my puzzles that I'd been meaning to do for a really long time. And he didn't even know that I used to do puzzles with my dad, but he found that out when he opened it up and, and set it up and everything else. And I just spent a couple of days working on that and I went out with my, my son and we had a day out at the creek. Alrighty little dude. I went on a lot of drives. See, I literally just want to go to my baby over to my okay spot. At least for a little bit, little bit. Alrighty, so I've successfully made it outside today for the second time, but this time not in so much of a rush. It's still blindingly bright and very hot, but I'm gonna cruise on up to the Gold Creek Road and see if I can get the spot next to the creek. Otherwise, I'm just gonna kinda see where it goes, where I end up at, kinda, so. We'll go find a spot up there. Alrighty. So unfortunately, it is retardedly effing hot outside. And I suffer big time from heat stroke. So, this is not working so well for me. But I am going to cruise on back to the house and enjoy some sips. A lot of drives. And I think it was like three or four days after after his passing. My dad was, was really big on, on hand painting canvas. He did he was an artist as well as a phenomenal guitar player and an excellent fisherman but it struck me that I I should probably try to maybe paint something well 
all the memories are there and, and all the emotions are there and stuff. And so I did, and I managed to paint two beautiful pieces of artwork. One, I, I actually struggle to call beautiful. I don't really like this one that much, but it's, it's there. My uncle, actually, when he brought my dad's stuff down just a couple weeks ago, he actually really, really likes this one. So, of course, I'm, I'm going to hang on to it and, and take his advice and get better at, at painting. But, yeah, he, my, my husband, that is, he just he spent a lot of time just letting me talk. And, and during the, like, following week, I sat down and me and him just created a very simple morning routine that I could follow and it was just, you know, wake up, do yoga, write in my journal, write in a positivity book that I made that's just write out one positive, true affirmation every day and then spend a bit of time alone, get up and move, try to sing and dance every day. And just generally do things that, that kept me uplifting and uplifted, I should say. And then I also started a daily song on my on my Instagram story and my Facebook story. And so now every day I share one of my favorite songs that I'm listening to that day and that I can relate to. And it's gone really well, I believe. Today was day 24. So... Yeah, that's that's really helped me just get up. It's something little, it's something simple to do that I enjoy every day. I've always wanted to share my music with with people and now I, I can and it's such a wonderful thing. And then honestly I just spent a lot of time going on drives until finally I I just kind of got bored of them in a way. And spend a lot of time looking over like old, like some of the older videos from Yona and Kate and Kale and even like there was one post Laura Hoff had that really, really struck me near Mother's Day. And some of the posts that Wim Hoff has posted have really, really resonated with me over the last like while. So yeah, after after really like getting in sync with with getting with watching, sorry, um, Wim and Laura's and and Kelly and all of their videos and stuff, it really started to to resonate with me, and I found that more often than not, I was I was starting to change kind of how I was thinking about things and, and my perspective on on what I was doing and how I was thinking and in a way it kind of enlightened me and I had one day where I did a really deep meditation and I'm actually gonna I want to make a video of it and upload it because it really just hit something with me and I go back to it almost every day and I'm gonna share it with you guys because I really want to, but it's a little bit too long to put into this video. And so after that, dumb enough, my car broke down. And this just infuriated me because I had just started doing my canvas pours again. All right, so admittedly, I didn't have my tripod with me and I was filming my First, gorgeous, oh, um, open cup of pour, but I have it now, and so I actually can film all of my second one.
I I really like to get out a lot. I don't like staying inside my house. And the neighborhood I live in, it's not so nice to just go walk around it and stuff. But I had to, and I managed to accept that it was okay. And my husband actually put a ladder up to the roof, so I had access to the roof for my sunrises and sunsets and all of that sort of stuff. puzzle that my husband pulled out right after my dad passed away it's a legend of zelda puzzle and it has a thousand pieces and it's, it was really complicated for me to try to do after all these years of not doing puzzles so it actually started to frustrate me and i put it away and i pulled out a different puzzle and that's the one i'm working on right now and it's a metallic puzzle it's super pretty and i absolutely love it but i'm kind of all over the place with it as you can see and other than that, I, I've got my car up and running. There goes my baby. Down to the auto shop. I shall see you back here fixed. There was no shops for like three weeks. And so I just kept calling around and calling around and finally I got into one shop and he got my car fixed in like two days and I was ecstatic at this. I got my baby back today and she's back and she's up and she is running again and so I can finally get out of my godforsaken home 
And of course, me being me, I have come to my favorite place, and that is Gold Creek. And so here we are. There is these beautiful purple flowers all over here now, and I am loving it. This is so great. Oh, I am just so happy for this day. Oh, I have been stuck in my house without a car for like three weeks now, and I am so done with being stuck having to walk around my crummy little hometown and not being able to be oh out here in this beautifulness and I am so damn tempted to take a dip today I actually seriously think I'm gonna and this is gonna be my spot because it is just so damn beautiful here and it is just deep enough that if I go sit right where it's like all light colored there then I can actually like go and like sit in the rocks and just like be in water. Or I can go in that top. I don't know. I don't know if I want that one or this one. But I'm gonna pick one. And I think I'm really actually gonna do this because it's hot out and this should be warm enough now. And I'm just Oh, I'm just super excited for today. This is great. Oh, I'm back at it. Yay! <laughs> because I had had my car in like almost three weeks it really really sucked but in that time we went for a lot of walks I spent a lot of time on the roof I <laughs> I started varnishing a lot of paintings I got the idea of setting up my my Facebook store too and selling my paintings on there through my Facebook group and then actually just today I got the idea to also possibly set up a stall at our local farmer's market and sell them there as well. And so I've been learning a lot about selling canvases and how to sell my art and just been working towards getting all of that set up. Because at like two weeks ago now, the beginning of July, second week of July, I forget exactly what day now, I ended up actually quitting Tim Hortons. Oh, it just got draining and I feel bad leaving behind like the good employees and, and my favorite customers and stuff because they made the job worth it. But there was just too much negativity in that place. So I left and so now I'm pursuing my artist work and selling my canvas art. And I'm, I'm actually very close to actually like launching my shop and getting all of that up and running and once i got my car back which was like last week i finally it's the middle of july now i finally did my first ice bath and i know that sounds insane you're like okay it's july it shouldn't be that hard it it really is for me as a kid i suffered from cold shock one time and I've just feared cold water ever since and I've never been able to get into frigid cold water again and so when I got my car back that day I said F it and I'll just show you guys what I I did I went for my first ice bath this river by the way is fed by um, runoff from our mountains and so yeah it was cold. I apologize for some of the spires. It was cold. <laughs> okay. I think I've mentioned this in a past video clip. I don't know if I've ever put it in a video yet, but right here, it's like the most beautiful spot. But this whole like hillside is just all rocks. And I actually come out here and I'm collecting them little by little to build a fountain in front of my house. Right? But they are, like, the hardest thing to try to balance a damn tripod on. And I'm really hoping it kind of get me. Yep, we're good. Alrighty. Oh. It is, like, 35 degrees out here. It's only 32 in town, so. It's hotter out here than it is in the city right now. Wait. Is insane. It just blows my mind. Ah, oh, but this thing should dry so damn fast. It's not even funny. 
All right, time to go stuff for a little bit of cold water and have a great fucking afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. A little litter, oh. slowly, but surely. Still cold as fuck. Yep. But. I'm tired of fearing cold fucking water, so we're going in. We're in. Oh, that is up to my knees now. Woo. It is so cold. That's really nice once you get in it. The cold is like seeping up the back of my dress. Because my dress isn't really in the water. And it's cold. But it's really nice. This is nice. Whoa. That's chilly, man. But, oh, that is so refreshing. Oh, once you get like used to it, my arms are so cold because they're like half in the water, half in the water. But my legs, my legs are warm. Oh, God. It goes over the dress cup, it's nothing. And then yeah, since then I I've been trying to fix my April upload and it's only because during my time at home I did a lot of cleaning all of that sort of jazz. I went through my computer and I moved some stuff around and it really boogered my April video and so now I just have to go through and tell my video editor where everything is and I can get that done. And I will have that up. And then, I guess lastly, the only other thing I got is I did a music video. It was like three weeks ago, two weeks ago. It was right after my car broke down. I just took a bunch of my clips from June, all my po most positive ones, and I strung them together to a song, and I made a little music video out of it. So... Yeah, that's that's what happened to my April upload, and that's that's my June and how I bounced back from my dad passing away and all of that jazz. And now I look forward to launching my art and getting this damn April video fixed and uploaded. And today I'm gonna work on putting this one together and getting it done and uploaded. And we'll see where it goes from now. <laughs> but thank you all very much for listening to me and bothering to watch my vlogs. If you like what I'm doing here, please be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. It'll tell you whenever I upload something. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you soon and reading your comments.